before we start today's video, I hope you all had a good Christmas and I wish you all a very happy new year. Morning folks, how are we doing? We're here at the allotment. I've got a few jobs to do today. Um, I want to build a few, or a couple of raised beds. I need to trim the asparagus and the raspberries. Things I should have done a while ago, which I haven't done. So I'm going to crack on with that and join me in a bit. As you can see guys, all the raspberries are overgrown. Um, and they just need trimming now, so we started trimming them. As you can see, I'll just crack on with that now. Um, really, I should be wearing eye protection gloves, because there are little thorns in them. And they're bloody earth. So I'll crack on with that now. Okay guys, down in the south, it's been cold but it hasn't been too bad. So as you can see, we've still got some new growth coming on the raspberry, so I'm going to leave them in now, just to see what happens. We're already practically in January, so I think they should be alright, and that's get really cold. They should be alright, so I'm going to leave them in. I'm going to pull out the weeds, but as you can see as well, we had it in this raised bed originally. They've started spreading now, so I'll just trim them down as well. Okay, <coughs> so we've cut these raspberries down as well, so the autumn and the summer raspberries, we've cut them all down, um, just to mainly get rid of all this grass, I don't know if you can see, all this grass is horrendous, so we're going to dig all that out, tidy it all up, um, and get rid of that, and then uh, put wood chips down to try and stop the grass coming up, so we've done that as well, as well as the ones at the top. Right then guys, as I said in my last video, um, I'm going to change the layout of the allotment for the plot and uh, the raised beds just because I don't think these ones are working that well. They're alright, we are going to have a few of these size ones but I think um, like the plan in the spacing is way too big, way too big, I don't know. You can see that, you know, you could fit two of me here really. Um, which is just too big. So we're going to make the smaller. We're going to work our way up the plot, as we said, and start on the uh, chip-ins, really, um, just to stop the weeds and that. I'll show you. I've built one already. So this is probably double the size, of roughly, of the original ones there. So this one, we're going to have some more strawberries. We've got the strawberry three-tier there. I think I'm going to turn this into a three-tier. I need to move all that crap there um, and we'll push it over slightly and then this area we're going to keep a sort of I say a dumping ground so as we get more pallets more chip-ins it is a pain in the ass where you come up here and you'd have to walk all the way around and then up the path I think I'm going to put a fence or something in there uh, a gate sorry but for now everything can just be dumped over and we can work it from the allotment that way then that's the plan anyway um, so we'll see what happens with that. Okay then. I've built another raised bed. <coughs> it's amazing how much of a slant this plot is on. Um, I forget how much. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to see it now. But we've built the next raised bed. So as you can see, it's quite a bit bigger than... Well, it's double the size really. It's quite a bit big. Now, I'm not sure if you can see how much of a slant it is on. But it's quite like that almost. Um, so we'll need to sort that out. Um, but they all need painting and stuff first, which we need a dry day for. So we'll wait for them to dry out <coughs> um, before we start filling them and all that sort of stuff. So that's the next one. And then in theory, we will have another one right here, which I might try and build today. As you can see, I took the one that the parsnips were in last year. I've taken that apart, um, so we'll shift some of this soil out. Um, and we'll build another one here. So we'll probably take that one apart now, and we keep going from there. Okay, so we've got two raised beds. Obviously, they're not in their final position, but <coughs> we've got two of them made. So I'm envisaging the bottom 
part of the allotment, or this bit anyway, will look like this. So like I said, we'll make that into a three tier strawberry bed probably. And then, might have some more fruit in these. We've got our raspberries up the side, which we've got plenty of. So I'm not sure what fruit we'll put in these. Um, maybe some blueberries? Um, I'll have a little look and a little think and see what the wife wants as well. And uh, we'll go from there really. But yeah, so they're the two new beds. Obviously we need to push them back slightly, close the gaps because that is too big. Um, and obviously level it all out, but that'll come later. And then obviously we'll work our way as we get more chip-ins. Um, I need to get more pallets. Um, I know I've got these ones, but I've got a plan for them. But as we get more chip-ins and pallets, we'll work our way up the allotment. And eventually the greenhouse will go on top of there, as I've explained. Blah, blah, blah. Born, you know. Um, the grass we've dug up from here. Bloody grass, I hate the stuff. Grass. Why is it, whenever you don't want it to grow, it'll grow, and whenever you do want it to grow, like your lawn, it's rubbish. Anyone answer me that? I'll be grateful. The other thing, as I said earlier, we've chopped off the bits for that, so here they all are, and that we'll eventually we'll chop all these up and um, ch either chuck them in the compost or we'll just use it as chickens as well, just for the ground. The other thing I've done today, which I thought I'd show you, is the fig tree is growing. We, Some of these lower branches were in our way in terms of getting around, coming around here to the compost and things like that. So I trimmed all them down and hopefully I should put more growth into the rest of the the plant or the tree. But what we've done, we're going to try to spally in it so that it comes from here. As you can see, we've tied it to two posts for now. Um, thanks to the mother-in-law with some old stockings uh, or tights should I say um, so this one we're going to have possibly growing up the tree line and then this one we want to come to that corner and we're going to use that then to go along the fence and what we'll do is we'll take these out I think or just leave them in I'm not sure anyway get it to grow here and then we'll have some sort of arch for it to go over and carry on and then come back the other way, I think. That's the plan. We'll see what happens with it, and I'm not sure how well this will work. But as you can see, it's got a hell of a bend on it. But we've secured it tightly so it shouldn't fling up. And we'll just see how it goes, really. Because I forgot my saw, as I said. So, where the asparagus was, I've cut it all down, and I've put a new um, couple of inches of compost on the top with a bit of feed in it, a bit of manure and stuff to feed that and then next time I'll box all that up and sort that out. Same with the rhubarb, um, again eventually I'll box it up I think but for now I've just put some new compost and manure on top just to give it a bit of feed really because I know rhubarb loves to be fed so we've just done that today which is a bit late I know but still guys thank you for watching it is much appreciated and um, thanks for all your comments and subscriptions it's really um overwhelming really on how far this channel's come so thank you all very much i hope you all have a good new year and i'll see you in the spring